the 100 meters now and this should be a cracker too Amo of China, Forte Jamaica, Gatlin USA, Oganodi Kata, Rogers USA, Collins and Kitts and Nevis, Gittins Barbados, Young USA and Xi of China. This is Mo, World Championship for Silver Medalist. They did a wonderful relay. And this is Forte of Jamaica in lane two. Justin Gatlin's got a bit of an ankle, we're told. How will he go? We'll soon find out. It's pretty windy down there. You can see his number flapping around. This is uh, Femi Oganodi of uh, Qatar, who's really going well at the moment. We saw him over 200 uh, last week. Rogers, world championship with silver medalist in the relay a couple of years ago, but the world champion in 2003, Kim Collins. Then you've got uh, Ramon Gittens of Barbados, world indoor championship bronze medalist this year. And then outside him is Isaiah Young of the United States and Xi of China, world championship silver medalist. Another member of that uh, relay team that did so well. The Americans failed, of course, and uh, well, I wonder what uh, Justin Gatlin thoughts were after that uh, world championship 100 and 200 against the great, uh, the great uh, man from Jamaica, of course. Folks, silence, please. So, Mo, Forte, Gatlin, Oganodi, Rogers, Collins, Gittins, Young, and Xi. The men's 100 meters. Gatlin, deep in thought. Usain Bolt destroyed his mind before that race, before both races, but particularly the 100 last year in Beijing. Rogers, very, very quick. World Indoor silver medalist, of course, in 2010. He's got the reputation of the fast start, but then so has Gatlin as well. But it was, he's said to have a, an ankle injury, which he says have interfered with his preparations for Rio, but we'll see. Well, Gatlin certainly got away well, he did indeed, and he's leading this field at the moment, and outside him, Oganodi's chasing him, but Gatlin's miles ahead, Oganodi's going to take second place, and Rogers in third, and 9.94, and that's pretty well the time that he would expect. It's uh, said that he's not as sharp as he has been, but on that injury front, that was a dominant piece of racing. He is difficult to beat, only one man can do it, and he's not here at the moment. But that was dominant. He got a good start, a good build-up, and the second part of the 100 metres was good, effective, efficient, and he just blew away Oganodi and Rogers in what was, uh, in the end, a demonstration. Well, I think he'd be pleased to get the win. He said that, as you were saying, that he's not sure uh, what sort of... that he's missed a little bit of training because of his ankle problems, but... I'm not sure what, when he's going to start running really fast. 9.94, certainly good enough tonight. Oganodi not producing the sort of form that uh, theoretically he's in. Um, but he's, you know, as ever, Gatlin out well, opens up the gap. They did close on him a little bit, perhaps in the last 30 or 40. Maybe that's where he's missing a little bit. But 9.94, more than good enough to win. Of course, Bolt competes this weekend in the Cayman Islands. Be interesting to see, won't it, what he does in his season opener as well. So the two of them getting their seasons well underway. And a uh, long way to go before Rio, of course. Lots of much quicker races than this one, but for Gatlin, she'll be very, very happy to have beaten a pretty good field. Yeah, and uh, when you think back to the World Championship final last year, he was overstriding for the last 10 or 12 metres or so, under extreme pressure from Usain Bolt. And it was a very, very close margin of victory, of course, for Bolt. But nevertheless, it was a victory. And this man must have suffered mentally after that because he was the fastest going in he was the fastest in the rounds and then all of a sudden um, he couldn't quite manage it when the big jamaican took to the track but gatlin's class there's no question about that whatever you think of him he's quick well there it is justin gatlin at 9.94 season's best Hemi oganodi in second 1007 and then mike rogers 1010 in third